This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by your local Montana Toyota dealers. Thursday morning time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Joining us in the studio this morning, Andrea Jones from the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks. Had one of those nasty situations. I hate when we have to talk about these things, Andrea, but it's unfortunate. Uh, one of those things that Fish, Wildlife and Parks has to deal with, a poaching incident. Uh, let's talk about what we're dealing with there. Right, this is really unfortunate. We had three bison, bull bison, taken uh, illegally by hunters in the Gardner area. This is in the Beatty Gulch area where a lot of the hunting does occur legally during the season, but these individuals, all from Park County, uh, went out and tried to hide the evidence of these three bison that they uh, put down. Unfortunately, they only took the heads, left the rest to waste. Um, it was discovered a couple of days later that the incident occurred on the 28th of February and it was found a few days later by, by staff. Uh, there had been a, a couple tips that came in about gunshots in the area, but again, this is in that area where bison hunting does occur by tribes and, and, and by state hunters during the legal season. Mm -hmm. But of course, our season ends February 15th. These were residents of the state of Montana and again, post season. So they did plead guilty uh, this week on Tuesday in justice court and were uh, sentenced for unlawful possession, uh, waste of game, and uh, hunting out of season or hunting during a closed season. So fines and restitution in the amount of around $2,600 a piece and their, um, their privilege for hunting, trapping, uh, and fishing has been suspended for 54 months, which some people say is, a, is, is light, but for us, we don't control that part mm -hmm. of the process. There, there's a reason for all the work you do, how many tags are issued and all of those kind of things. And this just, it, 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 it's just a black eye on some of that stuff, isn't it? Well, of course, anytime a hunter does something wrong, it, it kind of casts a light across all hunters. Mm -hmm. And this is a, uh, a special case, of course, because we are in coordination with a number of tribes and, and we're on a small landscape hunting during this, uh, during the real hunt season. To have something like this happen, it's really unfortunate. One of the other things that was kind of interesting about this case was the use of an FWP canine in order to help track down some of the evidence. So it was part of a pilot project uh, toward using canines. We don't have much use of them in FWP enforcement, but this case might not have been solved had it not have been for this canine Kika who was able to uh, locate some of the evidence that helped lead our, our folks to the people responsible. The canine plus again the involvement of uh, good eyes out there, people That's correct. doing the responsible thing and, and making that phone That's call. That's correct. Agency partners actually had spotted these, uh, were able to confirm uh, partners from the Forest Service as well as uh, the Park Service were <laughs> were there to see and confirm that these individuals were in the area around the time of the incident. It's phenomenal. One other thing we want to talk about a little bit, uh, get over online, start yeah. making, making sure you're doing the right <laughs> Today's thing Today's the day. Today's the right. final day to put in for the bucks, bulls, your antlerless uh, elk permits. So get those, get those and do it online at this point if you can, just because it's going to be a rush at our offices today. So deadline, bucks and bulls today, fwp.mt.gov. Perfect. Andrea Jones from the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks. This Week in Fish and Wildlife was sponsored by Toyota.